Good evening and welcome to the first in Occupy Youngstown's 10-minute mini-seminar series. <clears throat> in the coming weeks, um, seminars that will follow include a discussion of the um, fracking oil spill in Vianna Township, intro to Occupy Information Literacy, which will be tonight, medicinal herbs and their uses, the benefits of vegetarian living, urban gardening, the dangers of fracking to the local water supply, community resources for shopping local, and we will wrap up with a session on mindfulness meditation. Tonight, as I said, I want to focus on um, Occupy Information Literacy. That would be the um, easiest way to find news and information about the movement. In order to serve the information needs of the Youngstown area and um, surrounding Occupies and um, activist movements, we have in um, Youngstown created our own virtual library, the People's Virtual Library. You will be able to find this library by surfing to occupywarren.weebly.com and the library will come right up on your screen from there. Um, you will see on the opening page our list of library collections. Those collections include a link to the um, virtual reference shelf at the Library of Congress, a virtual reserve shelf, which um, holds a number of materials that we want to make available quickly. Those include um, any featured links that we might have, several links on activism. Right now, the first link that you will see is the Powell Memo, also known as the um, Powell Manifesto. Um, Ten Ways to Make Activism a Way of Life, Know Your Rights, Demonstrations and Protests and seven rules for recording police. Um, under that, there are several current news sources. These include Moyers and Company, um, Occupy.com, Democracy Now!, Free Speech TV, Ring of Fire Radio, and others. Then we have links on corporate and government corruption must-read links on fracking and fracking news, L links on current news on genetically modified organisms, and then links on the Trans-Pacific Partnership. These links will eventually make it make their way into the main collections but again you know they're appearing here now because we wanted to make them available fast. Returning to the main page and the list of collections, we see um, under that e-text and e-book collections. These include a number of subject collections, including ethics, a collection on fascism, historical materialism, law and civil liberties, Occupy Wall Street, Marxist Humanism, Political Thought, Anarchism, and others. Under this we have featured titles which include the Occupy Manifesto, A Call to Action, um, Things That Don't Exist, A Manifesto, Anarchy, 21st Century Revolutions, Debt, The First 5,000 Years by David Graeber, Gangs of America, The Rise of Corporate Power and the uh, Disabling of Democracy, 
and these are full these are full um, ebook texts so you can you can um, open these links and read the entire book and there are others that's that's um, simply a highlight our collections from that point include a collection on news and um, op-ed, a video collection, a collection of web links, fracking news collection, a Monsanto slash GMO collection, an anonymous collection, and then an Occupy Oral History collection. This is a project that Occupy Youngstown is unique in having because the um, the Occupy Oral History Collection focuses on short video interviews with a number of people around the Youngstown and Warren area, um, some from beyond this area, but mostly within that um, within that metropolitan area. We also have a photo gallery and um, protest lit literature and flyers. This area will hold flyers, um, a number of flyers, that can be downloaded and printed for any actions um, or distribution on the spot wherever there's a printer. We have a flyer on reasons to boycott Walmart. Um, we have a flyer entitled Anonymous, Who We Are. We have a flyer entitled Ernest Angley Protest. Um, that is a flyer that was created by Anonymous Akron and shared with the, shared with the library. We have a flyer entitled The U.S. Government Dash Monsanto Collection connection rather um, move your money which will give you instructions on how to easily move your money out of one of the big banks and into a credit union um, one entitled the dangers of genetically engineered foods and then one entitled genetically engineered foods consumers have a right to know and again, all of these flyers, and more will be added as, um, as time moves along, can be opened and downloaded and printed from the, right from the library. So, you know, if you're planning an action or you're planning a distribution, open one of the flyers and simply print up some flyers. In addition, to our main collections. We also offer a number of virtual library services. We have a simple search application that will allow you to search the library for various titles. Um, we have a connection to WorldCat so that you can search in other libraries for materials. We have a connection to the Internet Public Library ask a librarian link, um, and reference questions can also come to me personally. Um, but if I'm not available, say it's the middle of the night and you need to ask a question, um, certainly use the Internet Public Library. We have a tutorial on finding information on the Internet, and we have a link to an academic search engine called RefSeq, that um, excludes the .com domain and focuses on the .org and the .edu domain so that information is, um, is more reliable than what you would find in a .com domain. Also, there's no advertising. Um, and we also have a virtual computer lab which will offer various services um, such as the use of an online word processor, an online um, presentation program, and an online spreadsheet. And we also offer various ways to 
uh, protect your computer through links on that on that page on the virtual computer lab page um, the last thing that I'd like to talk about is our collection development policy for the library um, we pride ourselves in having a very active collection committee who chooses um, items that they feel should be included into the library. They pass those items on to me and I um, will then make sure that links are indeed suitable and they always are because our committee is very good and they know what they're doing. Um, and then create the metadata um, the entry about the information on the page itself, including the title, the source where the article is printed, the date where um, when the article was published, and then the URL, which will be live and can be clicked on. So any of those collections can be viewed. If you have questions or comments about the library, there's an email link to me. Um, I, I manage the page as well as um, as well as work with some of the uh, well all of the information sources on the page. So um, please get in touch with me with any questions. Thank you very much, and we will see you when um, it's time for the next seminar next week.